Hi, welcome back to Sharing Spirit. Thank you for joining us. I'm here to present some ideas and concepts of the sixth principle of spiritualism. One of the wonderful features of spiritualism is the openness of interpretation of concepts and ideas for each individual. When I talk about a concept or an idea, I am presenting my interpretation of it. The sixth principle of spiritualism states, we believe actions create results according to natural law. Hmm. Natural law. What is natural law? Natural law is spirits, God's mandate for optimum life. It is God's law governing the interrelatedness of all things, living and non-living. It encompasses universal truths, both spiritual and physical. It leads us in our understanding and path to fulfillment, love and life. The divine order, orchestrated by spirit, by God, is eternal and universal. Natural law, supported by the seven principles, guides us from being self-concerned to serving others. Actions have effects. The effects are the result of natural law, spirit's law, God's laws that maintain harmony, wisdom, and ultimately balance. These laws apply to both the physical and spiritual world. Let me tell you about a few of spiritualism's natural laws. There are many. Here are a few. The primary natural law is the universally accepted golden rule. It is, I feel, self-explanatory. It simply states, do unto others as you would wish them to do unto you. Religions of the world over have a version of this rule. Here are a few versions. Christianity in Matthew 7.17 7, states, Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Judaism quotes Hillel as recorded in the Talmud Shabbat. What is hateful to you, do not to your fellow man. That is the entire law. All the rest is commentary. The Sunnah of Islam says, No one of you is a believer until he desires for his brother that which he desires for himself. In modern terms, it's simple. Treat others as you would like to be treated. The law of one is affirmed in our first and second principles. There is one God, divine creator, and infinite spirit, a loving creative source that in our creation form the interconnected unity and equality of all. We are all equal and connected, and so an action taken will ultimately affect everyone. The law of love guides us in the exchange of all that is beneficial, all that is good. Following this law raises us to the highest attainable vibration. The law of truth tells us that truth will prevail. It will always triumph over falsehood and ignorance. It may not be immediate, but truth will triumph. This law guides us in integrity and responsibility. The law of desire drives us to seek knowledge expanded awareness, and truth. It's at the core of our development and progress, both of our soul and as humans. The law of evolution, or the law of continuity, tells us that all things in the universe are constantly moving, changing, progressing. Thus, the principle of eternal progress opened to every soul is demonstrated and supported by this law. The two natural laws most people are familiar with these days are the law of cause and effect 
on the law of attraction. The law of cause and effect emphasizes that for every deed or thought, there is an equal response. This law demonstrates the circular nature of the universe. Many people call this the law of karma. The law of attraction affirms that like attracts like. This applies to both action and thought. Thinking or acting in a certain manner attracts similar action towards the actor. By improving our thoughts and actions, we improve what is drawn to us. The law of attraction directly relates to several other natural laws. Here are a couple that relate. The law of vibration tells us that all things are constantly vibrating. The resonance created by the vibration determines what is attracted to us. Like attracts like, as demonstrated by the law of attraction. Raising our vibration by following the seven principles allows us to determine what we attract, what we join with, what we as a community create. The law of thought decrees that our thinking creates actions, creates behaviors. We are what we think. Therefore, our thoughts, through the law of attraction, dictate what is attracted to us. By having positive, loving, generous thoughts, we can attract like-minded people with similar intent. We can attract the good of life and learning. There are many natural laws more than I could cite in this introduction. You might find it interesting to do a bit of research or Googling to find more. It can be hard to incorporate all natural laws into your life at once. Following the golden rule, the law of love, and a positive approach to the law of attraction is where I began. It aided me in my path, my progression. It may aid yours. Thank you for joining Sharon Spirit for an introduction to Spiritualism's Natural Laws. Love and Light. Namaste.